I was in my late teens when I started noticing my hair loss. And being a teenager and starting to lose your hair, it's really a traumatic experience being so young and at that crucial age of beauty is everything. And I wanted so desperately to fit in and look like my girlfriends did with their beautiful hair. And it was, very, it was very challenging and very difficult at that point. My friends were the first to notice because being so young and, and a teenager, your girlfriends and your, everyone's playing with your hair and you're trying to find new hairstyles. Mm -hmm. So they were the first ones to notice and then my immediate family really took a concern and said, you know, Alexis, we've got to figure something out. This isn't, this isn't healthy and what's going on? I personally feel that <clears throat> women really are defined by their hair, we're de defined by beauty, mm -hmm. and our hair from way back in the ages, you always see beautiful oil paintings with women and their hair glowing, and it's such a feminine quality, and without it, you really lose a sense of your femininity. People think that I'm much older than I am. They have a, a stigma because I'm not my, my resume says I'm one, one way, but I look much older mm -hmm. because of my hair. And so sometimes I think in, in my industry that I work in, our appearance really does matter. So having that less feminine quality really hinders what I'm able to do mm -hmm. in my job. I really thought about this before I did it, before um, the studio asked me to do this. And there's not many women my age that I know of that really have hair loss problems. And since I was so young when I started this, I had nobody else to talk to about this. And the only people you ever saw that ever had hair loss issues were my mom's girlfriends that maybe had cancer or were going through chemo treatments. But there was no one my age that ever went through it and I would look high and low for organizations or anyone to talk to about it. And there wasn't anything. And so, you know, you learn how to deal with things by yourself and I have a really great support system, um, but I never saw anyone else. And so when they said to me, Alexis, you know, you're really young, do you think this is something you'd wanna do? And I said, without hesitation, I was like, absolutely, not a problem. Like. Fine, <laughs> put my face out there because if there's somebody else that's my age going through this and she doesn't have anyone to talk to about this, at least she knows she's not alone now. She might not ever talk to me, but she knows in her head that, wow, look, she looks really good and happy, and I am. Now I truly believe that I'm beautiful and that I feel confident and I feel sexy and I just feel good. There's not a day that I don't get up and say, wow, I look good today. Because I couldn't have my hair like the girls that had them in the magazines before. Now I've got a little Farrah Fawcett hair going on and I love it. <laughs>